failed, of course, as a monthly magazine. But it's excellent for lighting fires, or wrapping pats of butter, or becoming neat little conical packets for tea or sugar, or... Did you ever play at Sweet Chops? Yes. Have a brandy stand. Do your teeth ache? Sometimes. Mine do. I lie on the floor and suffer. I'm not a common model, you know. Most uncommon. You're making fun of me no. to amuse yourself. No, I swear. Like Mr. Hunt. What's the maniac been up to? He and Mr. Woolner secretly told another gentleman I was Mr. Hunt's wife. Dear. Then the gentleman came to Mr. Hunt's studio and addressed me as Mrs. Hunt. I was sharp with him. And both Mr. Hunt and Mr. Woolner uttered the most vulgar laughs right in my face and then went on talking as if I wasn't there. It's disrespectful. Oh, dear. You're not painting me. You brought me here to paint me. I shall go. No, please. I have something for you. It will please you. Shall I? Old Bruno told me you liked them. Who? Brown. Yes, I do. Let me read you something. <laughs> I've the courage to do it now. It was in the first issue of our magazine. Uh, I called it Hand and Soul. <laughs> I was up all night completing it in time. Uh, the hero is a young painter. How surprising. This is the passage. A woman was present in his room, clad to the hands and feet in a green and gray raiment, like a dove. It seemed the first thoughts he had ever known were given him from her eyes and he knew her hair to be the golden veil through which he beheld his dreams. I wrote that before I met you. I'm not only painter and poet. I'm a seer. My hair is not golden. It is copper gold. It is golden red. The divine color of Beatrice's hair. Is she a model? She's a dream. And she was the soul of Dante. But you're Dante. You told me. Now I am. I was born Gabriel Charles Dante, but last year, in honor of the great Italian poet, I became Dante Gabriel. And you're Italian. It's another of those stupid jokes you all make Be up. Be patient. When he first saw Beatrice, Dante said, Ecce Deus fortio me, qui veniens dominabitur nihi. Is that Italian? No, Latin. It means a goddess has come to rule over me. He, Dante, was overcome by her beauty but disturbed because it was revealed to him how often he would be unhappy from that time forward. Why? Love quite governed his soul. Those were his words. You made them up like the other stories. I merely translated them and knew my fate. Before you burn them all, I wouldn't mind. Please, uh, let me find you a clean set of four. I've already read Tennyson. Excellent. I found him wrapped round some butter. Is the angel your brother? Yes. 
If I'd met you in time, I would have painted you instead of Christina. Your sister dislikes me. Or is it the other way around? I love her. That's so soft. Uh, copies three and four. We changed the title from the germ, pronounced germ, by all good PRBs, for these last two issues. But it made no difference, except that I am now a published poet. The other sort are rather foolish. And William and Stevens have both become literary men. Think what English art has been spared by that happy event. What do you call it? The white eyesore. A sacred subject, and to you call it... please you, the blessed white eyesore. Well, you must believe in God to paint it. I believe religious subjects are saleable. I don't know when you're joking. Good. It will take you years to find out. A lifetime. And he knew her hair to be the red gold veil through which he beheld his dreams. That is a Madonna lily. It's a fake. <laughs> Cost two and six. Don't tell Hunt the purist. And don't tell him I've changed my mind about the Academy. I'm going to the free exhibition again. I never tell my secret thoughts.